The day started off like normal. Linda was out shopping with her daughter, but as soon as she pulled into the driveway, I had a notification on my phone that said an unknown device has been with you and the owner can see its location. After clicking on it, a map popped up showing every store she went to hours earlier. I kind of just brushed it off as a joke because I didn't realize that people were actually doing this. Following a call to Apple, she quickly realized it wasn't a prank. She said that she didn't want to scare me, but it looks like I have an Apple AirTag on my car. It's something happening across the country. Smart Gen Society CEO Amy Konwinski says it seems women are the main target. We were surprised that it was just right here in our community. I know it has been nationally. Uh, in some areas. People are buying these air tags for just $30, choosing their victims, sticking it to their cars, and tracking them using just their iPhone. And many victims like Linda only find out because they have an iPhone, allowing Apple users to receive notifications saying there's an unknown device tracking them, a new feature as reports continue to grow of its misuse. KTV Investigates reached out to Apple. A spokesperson says they're trying to deter bad actors from using an AirTag for nefarious purposes. Further saying if users ever feel their safety is at risk, they're encouraged to contact local law enforcement who can work with Apple to provide any available information about the unknown AirTag. But Linda says that's exactly what she did. They weren't really sure um, what to do about the situation. Because the technology is so new, the Smart Gen Society says many police departments have their hands tied. They feel like there's really nothing they can do. Unless victims can find the air tag. It's about the size of a quarter, making it that much easier for the person to hide it inside or around your car. Linda says her family searched her car for hours, checking the tires, behind the license plate, and even crawling underneath the car with a flashlight. But still, it was impossible to find. It's like playing a game every day of a needle in a haystack. So what does that mean if you can't find the air tag? They can't do anything without the Apple tag itself because they need the serial number off of it to find out who actually owns the device. Without it, Douglas County Prosecutor Don Klein says it makes it harder to prove someone was stalking you. That's the key is what's the evidence that we have that we can prove that somebody used it for that purpose. But he says they could be charged and served up to three years in prison. Stalking by the use of this electronic device uh, and that's a felony, can be a felony, can be a misdemeanor. As far as Linda, it's been months and she still can't find it anywhere. This device could possibly track me for two full years before the battery dies and, or if the owner decides to turn it off and start tracking somebody else. Kaylee Searcy, KTV, Newswatch 7.